Hello there, and welcome to the HI European Market Neutral Fund monthly video for August 2021. I'm Paul Marriage at Tarworth Investments. So this has been another pretty solid month for the fund, continuing uh, the recovery run and the sound performance that the fund has been delivering since our strike change in strategy, where we increased the UK proportion of the strategy back in May uh, and have maintained the higher UK portion through to now. We expect to continue with that high UK part of the fund uh, through to the year end. Clearly, we think the UK has some exciting opportunities uh, and the UK probably has slightly bigger earnings growth and slightly better underlying valuations than other markets in Europe. That's the basic tenet of trying to achieve that. So this month has been about contribution from both the UK and Europe. Let's make clear uh, of that from the start. We've had some good stocks in both territories, both long and both short. So on the long side, in a way, a tale of two different types of retailer. Marks & Spencer has been excellent for us in the UK. Marks & Spencer is a very traditional UK retailer. Uh, you know, it, it sells food, it sells clothing, it predominantly has shops, it has an OK online offer. Um, but overall, m and is beginning to trade a bit better, beginning to trade better in clothing. It's been in the doldrums for ages. So the first good statement for a while, shares are up 30%. That, that's been a really good uh, long for us. Very pleased to see that. Um, another equally strong performer, 26-27% performance in the month, was Bike24. Now, Bike24 was an IPO we did earlier in the year. It performed very well to start with, had a bit of a kind of settle down, as IPOs often do, and those performed again recently. So, so really strong life life sales there. Uh, and, and it's clearly a great offer. And for an e-tailer, uh, and you could argue e-tailers are overvalued, but for an e-tailer, uh, it trades at a reasonable discount to the peer group. So a new company yet to fully prove itself, uh, but but we think it's got it's got plenty to go for in that kind of niche specialist leader in the um, online bike, um, bicycle accessories, bikes, etc. Anything in that that big growth market. It's a going out thing. It's a COVID lockdown thing. Uh, so so bikes are a good place. Health health uh, as well being an important play in in the kind of drivers to the bike retail market. Um, so that's a couple of good longs for us. Uh, I think the other things that, that have helped us in the long book, uh, Adyen, which is a classified ads player, it's, it's a high growth, high value business, but it's growing really fast, so it's okay, performing well. Um, Spectrus has done really well for us. Spectrus is a, a, a pretty long established, almost kind of old tech business, you might argue. Um, but uh, people are getting excited again about the opportunity for 5G network testing. It's a network testing and lab testing business uh, with some, some strong hardware and some good recurring revenue type products. Um, so another good set of, set of numbers from them. The shares will perform really well, and I think more to come. Um, so yeah, good range of longs, both in the UK and Europe and across sectors, uh, and generally pretty happy with that. Short books not been bad. Um, you know, rising market short books generally can be a pain, but we, we had some good wins in travel, um, Chewy and also uh, Amadeus, uh, the, the travel um, travel agency software business you know it's taking longer for this these businesses to recover the travel recovery people are really excited about it but in reality people aren't traveling as much definitely ex uk uh, but also around europe you know that pickup is just being slow people are being cautious which is is no big surprise um so one or two of our growth here shorts have been been stronger in the month you know they've been a headwind um but overall pretty pleased with how the, how the book overall has, has been performing it's been very balanced uh, you know, and uh, we protected capital well when the market had a bit of a mid-month wobble, but have generally gone up with the rising market the rest of the time. Um, so, you know, maintaining that sort of small net long and gross of 150, you know, we're, we're pretty happy with the shape of the fund. And I think we'll see that going forward. Now, there are risks going forward. There's risks at any time, clearly. But I think, you know, we, we need to think about how uh, the pandemic will pan out into Q4 uh, uh, and what that's going to mean in different countries about how they react to, to, to managing COVID in the winter. Uh, and that need, we need to be mindful of that. You know, elsewhere, we've had some other noise factors, uh, you know, clearly the chi China factor in terms of, you know, locking down people a bit more and what they can do, you know, uh, a, a little bit uh, more about not living in, uh, in the perhaps the completely Western way. So, so things like, uh, you know, gaming uh, and also um, luxury have been hit by, by the changes in, from the Chinese government about, about what you can do with your time. So, uh, yeah, luxury a sector we are a bit exposed to, been, been a bit tougher for the longs there, like LVMH and Moncler. 
um, evolution. Gaming has also been a bit weaker. I'm not sure that's so much a Chinese thing, uh, but it's been clearly been a strong performer already. So, so a couple of headwinds there. I'm trying not to get too um, dragged into to macro noise. This is you know about picking the right stocks at the right time, and and most of the time in the last three or four months, we, we've done a reasonably good job there. So on the one year view, we're, we're back into positive territory, which is great news. Um, in for 2021, we've clearly got a long way to go to deliver a, a good return for investors this year. Uh, but that's our target as we go into the final four months of the year. Thank you again for your support. Uh, and we look forward to updating you as the year goes on.